Welcome back to Garner's Orchard, and we're out here in the orchard pruning the trees. You know, we get a lot of questions why or how we prune our trees. The reason we prune our trees is to open them up because over the summer you get a lot of growth, a lot of shoots coming in, a lot of the water suckers. So you got to want to clear those out. And the main reason of pruning a tree is thinning out the branches and to let more light hit the get inside the tree and eventually, whenever the apples are growing in the summertime, get that nice, nice uh, ground color on the apples. All right, so what kind of tools are you guys using, Andre? So the Farmer tools Drake. we use, uh, we have an air compressor with a pneumatic air pruner. This makes, this makes it nice and easy for us that I get to reach in. I'm 6'4", plus my hand's 8 foot, another 5 foot, it's 13 foot, you know? So it makes it nice. Then we use, we got these fancy hand pruners if we're up close, you know? And then we got our machine we showed you guys here a couple weeks ago, our Brody. That is a hydraulic ladder. It lifts you up so you can have hands on the screws with the branches and makes our life a whole lot easier of pruning. So that's after Farmer Dream up there. He's pruning his own, having fun at it. So it's a long process. It, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes per tree. If that's two of us working, if you're by yourself, about half hour to 45 minutes if you're by yourself. It's just it takes a long process. You gotta open up the tree, let that sunlight come in, and we thin out, we thin out a lot of buds. So we won't have to do as lot of, as much chemical thinning because we can we thin them through pruning. So, all right. So show us a tree that's already been pruned. Are we so have some back here? This tree. Well, let's go farther here. down because it's not as loud. Yeah, that machine. It's loaded. So have these been done yet? Yeah. So this tree's been done. As you guys can tell, the inside of the tree's opened up. I mean, you can fit my whole body within between the branches there. So that's going to allow a lot of sunlight coming in. So we get a lot of the good ground color on the apples. And it's just, we've been doing it. This is our sixth year printing the tree, so you kind of, it's second nature for me now. So I just, I look at a tree and I know what needs to be cut, but it's kind of, I mean, it takes a lot of explaining and hands-on experience with the tree to know and exactly what to do and how to cut a tree up, so. And then I get asked a lot, can you cut a tree bad? You can if you're cutting out the wrong branches. And by wrong branches, the branches that are too close together. I mean, I've seen trees where they just get a chainsaw on, you know, start have at it, but that's not the way you do. You want to open up the tree and make sure there's plenty of sunlight to all the branches. So, all right. So we got our dog here helping today. He's really just kind of wanting to play. And then we got Isaac here. What are you doing, Isaac? I cut the water suckers. He cuts the water sucker. What's a water sucker, Farmer Dre? I'll show you guys up here on these ones. This one still needs to be worked on, right? Yeah. So these are the water suckers right here. Just these small, itty bitty twiggy leaves, branches that grow. All these need to be cut out because they, you know, they hold the sunlight from getting inside the tree. So it's just the trees. This means the tree's healthy. It's grown a lot of vigor, so that's good. Good news. It takes a little bit of time to cut them out, but we know our trees are healthy and they're going to be putting out some top quality apples. So. That's all we have for today. We'll see you next week.